Hi, I'm John and welcome to another of my Toon Boom Harmony tutorial videos. I am very excited today because this is the last video before we actually finally animate our minion. Yes! Um, and also I feel much more energised today compared to the last video, so it, it's good to be back. Um, in today's video I'm basically going to be um, testing our rig. Quite simply, I'm going to be going through the rig, making sure that all the pivot points are in the right place, make sure that everything's working the way it should do before I animate. Because one of the worst things you can do is when you start animating is realise that, that, that the rig isn't working. Um, so if you get halfway through a scene or something and you realise that something just isn't working the way it should do, it's really annoying. You either have to go back and start from scratch after re-rigging the minion or the character, or you have to um, make the uh, uh, the changes in the animation and, and then go to your template and change those as well. Um, so it really can be really frustrating. So I definitely recommend that it, before you actually open up your first scene and animate in it, that you just kind of do a test um, test of the rig. Just, just move it around and see what you can do and, and see what problems arise and, and then you can fix them before you animate. So with our minion, for example, there's definitely one thing I want to change today, which is the overalls at the front. I really want this patch at the front to be on a separate layer. And I'll explain why, because as I mentioned before about his glasses, we can take those and we can move those along his goggle strap line. Um, so obviously if he's doing a head turn, for example, we can move his mouth and his, and his goggles, um, which is really, really good. But this piece here can't move. We can move our um, bands here, our straps, but we can't move this bit. And obviously if, he, if he's doing a little body turn, it'd be quite cool to have that moving as well. So I definitely want to do that first. And then after that, I'm pretty happy on the whole with it, but I want to just check the pivot points, because, for example, on the mouth, we didn't do those in the last video, so I, I, so I need to make sure that all the pivot points are in the right place. And then just have a little play with the character and do some poses with him and make sure that I'm more happy. So I'm going to start today with the overalls and get that done with, because that's the biggest job. Um, so in my network view, I'm going to find the body, which is going to be somewhere that it's going to take me ages to find. Here it is. And I'm going to do our copy and I'm going to do our paste special again. So which is right click, paste special, oh no, sorry, paste special. And I'm going to go to create new columns and click OK. Now that will make a copy, that, uh, but not a clone, which, we, which is exactly what we want. Let's move these out of the way. And I'm going to click on the little button and name this overalls. Like so. So I'm going, to, I'm going to change this one first. I'm going to go to the drawing window and you can see that we've got the colour on the colour art and the line on the line art. So for this bit we only want this sort of front section. So on the line art I'm going to get rid of all the body bits that we don't need. Oh, I'm just going to get rid of those. That's connected to that so we'll do that in a second. That's connected to that apparently. Okay, it's a little bit connected. This is the cutter tool. Like so. So we're going to keep just that piece of line art there and make sure everything else is clean. So that looks good. And then I need to go to my colour art layer. And then obviously we need to get rid of all the yellow body because we won't need that on this layer. Now this is the hard thing because obviously we have a textured fill here but it's actually quite simple to um, amend this without changing it too much. So I'm going to turn on all of my different layers so I can see it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and just delete the bits that I don't want with my contour editor to bring it basically in line with this, um, with, with the line art. Like so. Toon is so clever the way it works with textures. It's just so easy to use. You can make some really amazing drawings really quite easily. And as you can see, it's not actually affecting the fill of the texture. It's not warping the texture at all. So we know it will be exactly the same as the body image. Now what I might do is actually um, raise these bits up a little bit. So we won't need it to be exactly the same. And get rid of some of these edges, for example. Just so there's a nice, it's slightly um, lower than the bottom of the line. Get rid of some of these extra points as well. Make it a bit neater. Okay. So we turn it off, and now we can see the um, turn the strokes off, and we can see we've got the fill on on the color art and the line art on that. Um, so now we go back to our network view and get the body peg 
or the body layer, sorry. Now, obviously, we need to remove the um, overalls patch bit from the main body. So we'll just do that as well. Okay, and obviously we now need to join this up. So I'm going to select, I'm going to do the line tool, find his overalls line layer, turn on my stroke so I can see the endpoints. Um, where are we? And then we'll just connect that up to there. Just turn on our snap to contour so that it's definitely joined up. I'll put a slight bend in it by using the contour editor just to pull it down a little bit, like so. And again, we go to our color art. Now, obviously, we want to keep the yellow, but we don't want to keep this bit here. So, what I'm going to do again is using the contour editor, is I'm just going to get rid of all these bits here and bring this right back down to that line and match it up with the line. Like so. There we go. So now we, we can see that on the line art again we've got just the line art and the colour is a nice feel. So hopefully, if we, if we, let's go first of all to the network and we need to create a peg for that one and we need to join that in. So obviously we need to join the peg up to the deform there and we need to bring the overalls down in front of the body and in front of the pocket. So we're going to bring it down, oh sorry, in front of the body but behind the pocket which is there. So let's just move these two into the right order. Now also what we need to do is we need to create a master peg for the pocket and the overalls because we might want to move those together. So again we'll just drag those down and then connect that up to the kinematic output on the deform box at the top there. Right, so now that's obviously done, but obviously the, one of the issues now is is the fact that as we take the, um, the overalls in the pocket and we, and we drag it across, it obviously cuts off um, it, it doesn't cut off sorry, from the body. So what we need to do is create a cutter so that as we move this around, or if we move it around, these bits at the bottom here particularly will disappear. Um, so that's quite easy to do. So if we go to our network view, what we've got here is our body and our overalls and our pocket. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a cutter. And again, as always, it's the thing you want cut goes into the right-hand side. So we want really the pocket and the overalls to be cut. So I'm going to create a composite. I'm going to drag the pocket and the overalls into the composite and then drag the composite into the right-hand side of the cutter. And I'm going to drag this down uh, in front of the arms and the body. Um, okay. And then I'm going to use the line art from the body to cut it. So I'm going to drag that to the left hand side. Oh, no, wrong side. Left hand side. Now we go to our camera view. Obviously, it's disappeared. So we need to go back into our network, go to the cutter, and invert it. And now you'll see it back to normal again. So let's just test it. So let's get up our hierarchy and bring it across. And you'll see now that it is cutting really nicely like so. But obviously the problem is now is that the, the line art from the outside is disappearing. So to fix that what I'm going to do is go to the minion body, go to the drawing window, find the art work or the line line art and copy it and put it onto the overlay, copy it or, or make another copy onto the overlay art. And I'm going to delete this line here so we've just got the outside line. Now in the network view I'm going to take my overlay art layer I'm going to take another line from the body, so it's just going to take the overlay art, and I'm going to drop that in front of the cutter. There. So now you'll see, the, oh, right, okay, but we need to move that behind the arms now. So those two need to come behind the arms. Quite a lot of this network and stuff is just playing with it really and working out what you like. Um, so now, uh, we're seeing what works, I should, I should say. We can take that and move it, and it's the line you can see is actually working really nicely. And in theory, the pocket, if we take it far enough, should cut. Now, obviously, in this case, the arm is above 
the um, overalls. But obviously, as the minion turns, what we'll do is we'll knock this back into th in 3D space. So it goes behind the body anyway, so that won't affect us. But it does mean now is that, for example, let's say we are going to turn his um, head a little bit this way. We can make these kind of amendments. We can take this now, bring that over a little bit, take the ovals there, and then stretch them using the deform. So again, it's just testing out some of the movements we might do during animation. And this one, I need to just check if there are, have we got a... No, so you can't use the deforms to go back in 3D space. So to do that, you have to add a, a master peg above the deform. So I'll just do that. and let's just check it and now if we go we can push that back in 3D space and again we can move the mouth so now you see he can, we can actually get him to move his body um, quite simply and it should look, hopefully look quite effective and even with the arm here we can pull this arm a bit further in and that kind of thing so hopefully that should work really nicely let's just undo that for a second though because I'm not in animate mode um, at the moment Oh, that is one thing that I'm not sure I actually mentioned back in the early days. But when you're animating, uh, or not animating, you've got this little guy, a little yellow guy, who's a, run, who's a kind of run symbol. That he represents the animate mode. So when you're rigging and get everything ready, it'll make sure he's turned off. Because when that's turned on, it always it always creates keyframes. But with that turned off, it doesn't. So let's just go back to the arms and add those pegs back in again. Using the alt. So just um, bring in that with alt. Okay, so now we've got the cutter working. It's just a case of just checking the... Um, oh, well, that's the mouth, isn't it? Let's just do that as well. So, where's the mouth? Here he is. So we want the mouth to be behind the overalls now. So we're going to take that and we're going to drag it right back to above the body, which comes in here. So the mouth now is behind the overall. So if we did do a bounce of the overalls, that will be behind. His mouth will be behind, which is really good. Right. So now that we are happy with our basic rig, I'm just going to check and make sure all the pivot points are in the right place. Because uh, again, this is something that can be missed quite easily and can actually be really annoying. Um, so to do that, I'm just going to make sure that animate mode is on, and then just click through and make sure that all these bits are. In the right place. So you and then obviously the pivot point is the little blue dot in in the middle of your image. That all works well. Now obviously quite a lot of it is it's got deformers on it. So to see all your deformers, just highlight everything and then click on these show show selected deformers, and all the little green lines will appear. So we can just see the hair definitely is in the right place. Um, we've got the strap here, which is a deform from this side. Uh, so this, we'll, do, we'll do the mouth in a minute. The hands are pivoted in the right place. The pocket is pivoted at the top. The overalls are pivoted nowhere. So we'll bring that in and bring that to the bottom. And then get up the hierarchy. The, uh, the, so the pivot there is okay. The pivot for that is not in the right place. So we'll just change that one as well. That's it. And the legs are deformers, so they're all ready to go. And the feet are just images with pivot points, so they're okay. Ah, hello. I haven't done the feet very well, have I? So I've got to change that now. See, it's worth checking. Let's have a look. So let's go to the drawing mode. And we've got no feet here at all. So let's just get rid of this line and we'll fill in quickly the feet. Okay, so the feet now are done. So as you can see, and I even gave them a little bit, a, bit, a little tiny bit of an ankle, um, just to be sure. 
Um, so that I mean, you should never see that, but just to, just in case, there's there's a little bit there. You could also do a separate ankle and a separate layer with a separate peg, um, but in this situation, I don't think we'll need it. Um, so I think he is ready for animation. Um, let me, let's just check the mouth now. Yeah, let's, so let's do the pivots on on the teeth. So we shouldn't need a huge amount for these. the tongue. So we can actually move these teeth down for now. And let's just bring these down a bit. Let's get them ready sort of set for animation a bit better. Let's hide the deformers. Um, I think our minion now is finally ready to be animated, which is really exciting. I'm really pleased with the way it's all turned out um, and I hope you have enjoyed the series. It's taken quite a while but hopefully it will be well worth it when we see the final film um, in, a, in a few weeks time. Um, I think it will probably take two videos of, of animation uh, until we kind of get him finally finished. Uh, and the basic plan is I'm going to do him um, jumping trying to grab hold of a banana um, and hopefully you'll just get lots of tips and tricks and just see my process of animation so that is definitely starting in the next video so yeah thanks for watching please do click on the red button to subscribe if you'd like to watch any previous videos click on the other links and of course please do leave any feedback or any comments or any questions in the comment section below and I'll be back very shortly with the first animation video. Alright, thanks very much for watching. Bye.